एवरीवन वेलकम टू यूपीएससी टेल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर टू फ्रॉम हंटिंग गैदरिंग टू ग्रोइंग फूड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द अर्लीएस्ट पीपल व्हाई वेर दे ऑन द मूव इट मींस व्हाई दे डू ट्रैवल एंड व्हाई वी कॉल देम हंटर एंड गैदरर्स ओके दे ट्रैवल बिकॉज दे हंट वाइल्ड एनिमल काउट फिश एंड बर्ड्स दे गैदर फ्रूट्स रूट्स नट्स सीड्स leaves stalk and eggs that's why we call them hunter and gatherers and we know that if someone is doing something then there has to be a reason okay so they move place to place it also have many reasons first if they had to stay at one place for a long time they would have eaten up all the available plants and animals resources therefore they would have to go to else in search of food first reason ye aata hai agar koi ek jagah pe bahut lambe time ke liye rehta hai wahan pe to us jagah ke sare resources wo kya kar jayega khatam kar dega then unko ek jagah se dusre jagah ghumna padta tha means jana padta tha in search of food the second reason animal move from place to place either in search of a small prey or in the case of deer and wild cattle in search of grass leaves that is why those who hunted them had to follow their movements animals jitne sare wo bhi place to place move karte the chahe wo grass ke liye ho move kare kare ya phir kisi aur animal को khane ke liye move kare to jo log un animals ka shikar karte the हंट करते थे उन लोगों को भी एक प्लेस से दूसरी प्लेस पे मूव करना पड़ता प्लांट एंड ट्रीज बियर फ्रूट्स इन डिफरेंट सीजन सो पीपल मे हैव टू मूव फ्रॉम सीजन टू सीजन इन सर्च ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्लांट्स इट मींस प्लांट्स एंड ट्रीज वो अपने फ्रूट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सीजन में बियर करते हैं एंड इफ समन वॉन्ट्स डैट फ्रूट दे हैव टू मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस ओके इन सर्च ऑफ डैट प्लांट और डैट फ्रूट फोर्थ रीजन इज people plant and animal need water to survive because we all know that we can't survive without water while many rivers and lakes are perennial with water throughout the years it means ki bahut sari rivers mein pure saal pani hota hai but some of the rivers are seasonally it means they dried in summer okay or winter now how do we know about these people means in logo ke bare mein humne kaise jana because archaeologists have found some things hunter and gatherers made and used means archaeologists ne kuch aise cheeze dhoondi jise hunters and gatherers use karte the us time mein okay hamare stone age mein means 2 billion 2 million years ago okay they used stone as a tool and they use a stone as a chopper it means they cut the meat and bones okay and scrape bark means from trees okay and they also oh, chop fruit and roots they attached that stone with a handle of stick and you can also oh, say with bones and they used as a tool it means they use a stone in many ways okay now now how do we know about these people means in logo ke bare mein humne kaise jana because archaeologists have found some things hunter and gatherers made and used means archaeologists ne kuch aise cheeze dhoondi jise hunters and gatherers use karte the us time mein okay hamare stone age mein means 2 billion 2 million years ago okay they used stone as a tool and they use a stone as a chopper it means they cut the meat and bones okay and scrape bark means from trees okay and they also oh, chop fruit and roots and they attached that stone with a handle of stick and you can also oh, say with bones and they used as a tool it means they use a stone in many ways okay look at the map to below all the places marked with red triangles and sides from which 
Archaeologists have found evidence of hunter gatherers. Hunter gatherers live in many more places. Okay, these are the not fixed places because they live near the river. Okay, so see the Bhim Betka, see the Karnul caves. It means the hunter and gatherers all live here because archaeologists have found some evidence about from these places. In nowadays, Bhim Betka is known as Madhya Pradesh. Finding out about fire. See, when the earliest people, we can say when the people who live in Stone Age, they know how to use a stone and they also know how to use the stone as tools. Then they also know how to use the stone as fire and they are familiar with that. They can also roast meat and they can scare away animals. Now, names and dates. Archaeologists have given lengthy names for the time that we are studying. They call the earliest pe period that Paleolithic. This comes from two Greek words, Paleo meaning old, it means Purana and Lithos meaning stone, means Patthar. We can also say Paleolithic age, Paleolithic, it means old stone age. Okay, the name points to the importance to find of stone tools. The Paleolithic period extend from 2 million years ago, okay, to about 12 years ago. This long stretch time is divided into the lower, middle and upper Paleolithic, okay. This long span of time covers 99% of human history. It means Paleolithic, which is our old stone age, means old stone time tha wo hamara 99% human history ko cover kar leta hai the period when we find environmental changes beginning about 12000 years ago till about 10000 years ago is called mesolithic age mesolithic it means middle stone okay middle stone stone tools found during this period generally tiny it means because they use stone as tools and Bade stone, jo big stone hai, they can't use them as a tool. Okay, then they have to make tiny stone. Okay, and are called microliths. Okay, microliths were probably stuck on the handles of bones and wood to make tools such as saw, sickles. At the same time, older varieties of tool continued to be in use they use that tools to hunting animals like a wood rod you can say or a wood or bone they tie that stone with that wood and they hunt the animal with the help of that tool okay the next stage from about 10,000 years ago is known as neolithic means the next stage which was 10,000 years ago we know that it is Neolithic age so okay. in this period it means in Neolithic period the farming has started it means development of farming has started these are the important point of this chapter 12,000 years ago there was major change in our environment okay because of that grassland increases and number of animals also increases and the people who hunt these kind of animal they followed them and they also followed the breeding season and because of this they start thinking about rearing and herding the beginning of farming and herding means after changing in environment the people start herding and rearing of animals and they also start farming because this was the time when several grains bearing with the grass including wheat, wheat, barley and rice. They grew naturally in different parts of the subcontinent and because of that the people start growing plants on their own. Okay, this was the time period when the people start farming. It means after all these things, people start farming, herding animals and rearing animals and they start storing animals. Okay. And they also store the grains. They make their own house and they start living in a place where rivers are available. It means they can also e get easily water. Now question arises that how we know about these kind of things? Because archaeologists have found some ed evidence near the northwest in present-day Kashmir and in east and 
south india that's why we know these this things after these people start settled in their life because they are farming they are rearing animals and because of that they have to live at one place that's why they start settlement and we know that when some people start living in one place they have to make their house and and that time people make pit house and which were dug into the ground and step leading into them these may provide the shelter in cold and archaeologists have found cooking huts both inside and outside in which suggested that depending on the way the people cook food either indoor and outdoors okay in this period the painting also increased people paint on walls caves and the people also start farming and because of farming they have to gather the fruits and food and grains in one place and they start making pots and they start weaving clothes a closer look living and dying in mehergarh find mehergarh on map 2 this site is located in a fertile plain near the bolan pass which is the most important routes into iran mehergarh was the probably one of the most important place where people start grow barley wheat and they start rearing sheep goats for the first time and they also start living at that place because there are many bones of animals are found like deer pig and also bones of sheep and goat were found now the cave painting in france this painting have found by four children around 100 years ago these paintings were made between 20000 to 10000 years ago it means a painting 20000 se 10000 saal ke beech mein banayi gayi thi jo ki char students ke dwara dhoond li gayi points of this book okay standard 6 history important points from hunting to gathering and growing food bhim betka in present day bhim betka is known as madhya pradesh painting paintings are found in madhya pradesh and southern uttar pradesh mehergarh mehergarh was the first place where wheat barley grew and rearing of sheep and go got for the first time now paleolithic age paleolithic age is known as old stone age neolithic age development of farming starts in neolithic age mesolithic age it is the middle stone age first tamed animal was ancestor of dog beginning of settlement at mehergarh about 8000 years ago i hope you found this video good thanks for watching